Hello, collective. Welcome. My name is uh, la, 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 I can't speak. My name is Sertas. Welcome to this collective reading. Let's dig into your love reading today. Let's see what's what. Shall we? All right, spirit guides, ancestors, gods, goddesses, all living right life. Please come into this space, allow me to tap into this collective energy, keeping them safe, loved, and protected, and keeping me safe, loved, and protected. What do we need to share with this collective today? Ooh, all right. Things are already flying out. We have King of Gems, the realist. Okay, so when it comes to love, you are in this time of transformation, death and rebirth. You're really working on your life right now. You're working on your habits. You're working on work. So when it comes to love, it looks like you are in this mover shaker energy. You might would let love in, but ultimately you're working on your pentacle. And so that is what you see. If love were to come into you, what would you, how would you react? Let's just clarify that. If the right love came in for you, how would this collective respond? Mm. Five of wings, it says defeat. Why? Why spirit? One card. Why? Mm, obsession okay so when it when i'm seeing this right now you you feel slightly like you're so obsessed with your work that you would def you would feel defeated in the connection but because you feel like you wouldn't be able to give enough to it to make someone want to stay once again the mover and shaker so it feels to me like someone is going to want to come in and be nurturing and lovey dovey and come in with charming you know cuddly yummy lovey energy and you're sitting here like i don't know if i have the time for that because you're working on your money you're working on your world and love's just it's not your priority right now now what do you want in love You want reward so you do want love you're just scared <laughs> right now and so you throw yourself into your work to avoid the emotional switcheroos of energy that could potentially come in if you connect with certain people yeah okay so you keep yourself in this moon energy of kind of hiding in the dark being in your own subconscious a little bit maybe overthinking situations and you're you have this underlying energy of well there's plenty of fish in the sea and anyone could have whoever comes towards me and I feel like I'm not that person for other people because I have other priorities and so you feel like when it comes to competition if it's other options like you another person another person you feel like you would lose out anyways and so you don't put yourself out there because you're like well I'm not sure if I would actually get the reward here but what you do want is the reward you want a fresh start you want to have a loving romantic relationship and you want to get out of this old energy of feeling like you're in a place of lack you want six of roses you want victory and what does it look like is going to come in for you in the future wow i just got a paper cut so that's what it feels like it's like you feel like love is going to affect you and cut you down and hurt you and what is actually the case is it's not going to hurt you as deeply as you think it will it won't affect your emotions as deeply as it as you think it will um, when it comes to work and getting your life together it will actually be something that you're going to be determined to build upon to have deeper connections with you may have those little paper cuts or those situations those conversations that are uncomfortable where it feels like something cut a little bit and it's like oh this is awkward this is uncomfy i don't know how to do relationships in a healthy way but what it looks like to me is that you are going to be motivated in your king energy to go towards this connection from a more masculine view because that's what you're stuck in when it comes to work and so it's going to kind of transfer into your relationships because you don't want to get your heart too invested it looks like but you do want love so you're going to be motivated to go towards new connections and to allow people to come into you you're also potentially going to be someone who goes out of your way to potentially date someone but you are going to be a very professional person when it comes to those connections you're going to take things slow you're going to look at things very realistically and very very much in an analyzation way which will put you into overthinking just a little bit 
Okay, so you're gonna be calling justice on lots of things. You're gonna be seeing people's truths. You're gonna call yourself out on your own truths because at the end of the day, you want healthy, loving relationships. You want 11 11 balanced energy, divine alignment. And so you want someone who can meet you where you're at when it comes to relationships. You want someone who's similar in attitude with you and who isn't gonna put, put you into a hangman energy of having to change your opinions or switching into a different energy to be with someone, you feel like in your core that you've done your work and you have different perspectives and you've already had those switches in your perspective. And so you feel like whoever comes into your energy needs to be similar, who has done the work also, or who is willing to have shifts in perspective, or to just be open to hearing you out in general. Because I feel like in the past you've met people or been in connections with people where you've read the signals wrong, and maybe those connections might not have been super honest or vocal, or maybe you even didn't set boundaries on the first part and say, hey, this is what I want in a connection, and then it made it kind of, um, the lines were kind of crossed a little bit, or little wiggly waggly a little bit suspicious and so when it comes to relationships they're gonna there's gonna be a lot of communication that needs to happen messages either in person or through the phone or email or you know whatever to allow yourself to have hope in a relationship moving forward in a romantic way so that relationship is it could be romantic it could be not um it just depends on the relationship you're looking for okay so what you need to know about these relationships that potentially are coming in for you they could change your life to a gems and when i say that they could change your life i'm saying they could change your life and how you how you vocalize how you express yourself to other people it also could change your perspective on how you view love in general or relationships in general and what you're going to find is that you have more hope in connections than you did in the past because you're tapping, oh, a beautiful bluebird just went across the, the window. So there's definitely some, some spirit messages, some signals. Oh, there's a squirrel too. Holy moly, macaroni. Okay, so bluebirds, squirrels, go look up those spirit animals. They can be relevant for you. But it's this energy of you're going to feel a lot emotionally and you're going to connect with someone a lot deeper than you thought you would. But it's going to be something that's going to kind of unravel in an unnormal way or an unnatural way for you. Um, but what it's going to feel like is that it's going to be very balanced. Because that's what you want and that's what you're calling in. And you may even call in someone who's also very much in their career or is very preoccupied with their pentacle or their security, safety, root chakra stuff. And... Um, it may feel like opposites attract, okay? Now, you may be someone who is like in corporate America kind of world and your person could be in a totally different career. And that's what's gonna be like, uh, will this work? Yeah, so you, whoever you're connecting with is someone who is in a very passionate career, maybe a creative outlet of some sort, does a very different like I have a different daytime job than you do and it's gonna kind of confuse you because you're gonna be like, oh, would this actually be something that could go somewhere? And the truth is, is that it will. But it's gonna be something that I feel like you're gonna keep kind of hush-hush for a little bit because you don't wanna spill it before it grows or you don't wanna share it before it manifests. And so, yeah, there's a bit of perfectionist energy here. It's like, you wanna keep it kind of hush-hush, yeah of Jen's possessive energy until you know that it's going to go somewhere and if it's not going anywhere you don't want to share it until you know so and this could even be something where like you don't want family involved you don't want co-workers knowing what you're doing you don't want um your kids knowing what you're doing and so you're kind of like protecting yourself and your new connection before sharing it with anyone else because you want to keep the joy within it you don't want other people's perspectives going like coming in and changing how you feel you also want to keep yourself in a little romantic bubble once this comes in yeah it just feels like it's something you really want to keep precious and like close to your heart okay and i think that's a really good way to approach relationship princess of gems Keeping things vulnerable, thinking 
thinking, keeping, I'm hearing keeping things light, but also vulnerable. Um, yeah, this is going to be something that is going to be highly supported. <clears throat> it's going to feel professional, maybe even the connection with someone in your professional field, possibly, but where it's going is triumph. So there's going to be some really good things that come in with this, but there is potentially some insecurities that might come in with anxiety. So you're going to have to really learn how to listen to your intuition and not your fear. At the end of the day, fear can control lots of different things. So there's a need to bring love into the situation because love conquers all, right? So be courageous. Believe in the possible of having something beautiful come in to your life and stay, stick, progress. You are lucky and you're calling in something really special. Ooh from speaking your truth my throat is like going crazy by speaking your truth and being authentic to you you just need to be patient because the right thing will come in at the right time high priestess energy trust your intuition and also remember your independence and your vulnerability don't change for anybody don't pretend you're someone else just to be in a connection with someone 11 11 make sure that you're reevaluating your life <laughs> four of shells and that you're only allowing in things that are equally balanced and have similar intentions to you, okay? So trust, take the leaps of faith towards those new connections, those new peeper, peep, people, peeper. Mm, I hope there's no peeping toms. Anyways, um, yeah, you may have people that are a little bit jealous or would want to watch a relationship online or are curious about you and your relationships or are curious if you're in relationships so that might be a reason that you want to keep your connection hush hush because people are gonna see what's going on with you your opportunities your new relationships those connections and and people if they have negative frequencies might want to cause hard moments or might want to just wish bad things on you and who you're with so that is why this hermit mode this introspection this privacy kind of energy is coming in this introspection for intellectual connection it feels like your connection is going to be very happy very intuitive very divine very beautiful and it's going to be something you're not going to want to It sounds weird, but you're not going to want to share it with the world just yet. Let's get one more card. Why? It's going to make you feel like you're flying up high. Like, it's going to make you feel like you're high when you're not. Okay? And that's going to be something that scares you because it's going to make you feel so much emotionally that you're going to be like, wait, is this real? And that's going to challenge you mentally because whatever this connection is, it's going to be very nurturing, very loving, very special, very strong. And it's like no relationship you've ever had before. It's going to be extremely romantic very stimulating i'm feeling my crown chakra like going crazy so <sighs> this is a very divine connection coming in queens and kings very independent people coming in to create a beautiful connection together who are already whole as individuals and now when they come together, it's going to create something magical, the lovers, attraction. It, it, it's gonna be boosting and booming with creative energy, passion, Oh, like, it's gonna feel like you guys, women, men, whoever, you people, are each other's muse, okay? You will feel like you are each other's muse and you will feel so much inspiration from each other and it's going to be an extreme illumination to your power. To your power. Like, you will feel the vibrations going through you. You will almost feel the connection with the other person. You, you will feel like your heart is their heart. 
Oh my gosh. That's amazing. There's so much fulfillment. Nine of shells, emotional fulfillment. You're gonna wanna just cocoon together and stay in and like cuddle on a blanket or in a blanket and just be in your own bubble. Your energies are just going to intertwine magically and beautifully and it's gonna completely shock you. Shock you, shock you. It's gonna, it's gonna shock you. <coughs> Crazy, crazy. Magnets, that's what I'm hearing. Magnets. All right, that is your reading. I hope it was really great. <laughs> it sounded good to me. Have a beautiful rest of your day. If you want any services with me, they're listed down below. See you soon.